Welcome to Unity, backing up your project. We're gonna go over how to do that. So, our outline for this section. So, the first thing is you're gonna need to save your scripts in Visual Studio. Close out Visual Studio, you don't wanna have it open. You also wanna save your Unity scene and save your project. And then you guessed it, close out of Unity. Then we're going to go over compressing your project folder, the whole project, putting it into a zip file. You'll rename it and then you'll upload it to your Google Drive so that you can have multiple versions and you have a backup of that. So let's switch over. So I've got my Unity still open. So here's my project. Um, I know where it's saved at, so I can just go ahead and close this out. I'm gonna open up my documents here. You can do Windows E if you're on a PC. And I've already gone into my PC, the downloads folder. Um, it might be in your documents folder or on your desktop. Now I created a folder called games and this is where my actual project is. The learning project in this case. Yours might be one of the other games. In this case, this has everything in here that I need. So. I want to go back up one folder, so I'm going to go to the top level folder of that. So here's my whole project. This has everything I need. So in the case that you're, say, working on the UFO game, yours will probably be called, you know, UFO 2D. So once you've closed everything out, we can make a backup. And how this works is you can simply right click. Now, you can use a special tool like 7-Zip works too, but like on a home computer, you're probably not going to have 7-Zip installed. Maybe you have like WinRAR or something else. But with Windows, there is a default where you can go SYN2. Everybody should have SYN2. And then we'll do comp compressed zipped folder. All right, so here's where we want to be specific with the name. So whatever the name of your project is, you're going to want to put a date on there. Um, so in this case, usually I always put the year first because let's say you're working on this project at the end of the year and then, right, then it becomes the year changes to 2022, right? You want your files still to be in a certain order. Um, you could change it around. It's whatever works best for you. I usually put the year first and then the month, right? And then the day. And then if you're if you're going to save multiple backups in one day, you could put the time frame, right? So that way you know, hey, you know, 3:40 p.m. This is when I created that, or whatever the case is, and you have a backup of that. But that's what I would do. Um, so I have a backup today of this file whenever I made this video. And let's say, you know, five days, you know, another day later or something, I've, I've made more progress on my game. I want to create another backup. We would do the same process all over again where I would come in here, right click, send to compressed uh, folder, and then I would put the date that I'm doing that backup on. And then, so this zip file, which we could make a larger icon, but this zip file is what we want to actually drag into our, like, Google Drive, for instance, to have a backup of this. So you could have multiple versions of one game, and this helps make sure if you accidentally delete your folder, um, or if one day you delete your progress, or let's say you delete a bunch of stuff in your game on accident, you have a backup that you could go back to, per se, um, that, that maybe you won't learn, lose as much progress. So that's how we would go about that for making a backup. So again, recap over everything we went over, right? You save every, all your scripts in Visual Studio, exit out of Visual Studio. Save your Unity scene and project, and then exit out of Unity. Then you'll go to your project folder and you'll send to a compressed folder, rename it, and then upload it to your Google Drive so you have several backups of your progress.